Yo, what's good? You're here with Nate. This is Cross Beast Production, and thank you guys for tuning in. I'm just getting over the flu, um, so I haven't had any time to do any videos because of that. Uh, but let's get into this. I had a couple of people, I've actually had a lot of people over the time, um, ask me about Machine and doing tutorials for that. And I decided I'd do a quick tutorial for Machine using Neutron as the sidechain plugin. Uh, somebody asked me directly about this question, they wanted to see it, so I figured, heck, why not? I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that want to know how to do it inside a machine, and uh, let's get straight to it. So, this is a bit of a beat that I'm making just for this video. Uh, I might finish it, I don't know, it sounds pretty beast, uh, but we'll get into it. So, the, the base we've got going here is Sublab, it's one of my most favorite bases uh, of all time now since it's been out, uh, go check it out, it's definitely worth it, it's by FAW Audio, uh, but this is where I create all my bass stuff for anything I've created recently anyway, uh, for my bass instruments, so it's really handy, um, check that out. So anyway, um, the plugin we're using here is Neutron 3, uh, which I'm using for a sidechain plugin, and it's a demo version, so bear with me if it cuts out uh, the audio or whatever. Uh, that's what happens with the demo version. So uh, I've got a bit of a beat here. I'll just quickly play that to you and I'll show you what it sounds like so you can hear it. Um, maybe just turn down the drums a bit because they might be a bit too loud on that group. Uh, yeah, so let's check that out in a second. Uh, so yeah, we've got the drums here. Actually, we'll just leave it. I'll leave it there. Let's play. So that's the beat, um, not finished as I said. Anyway, the drums here, I've got basic kick, snare, and hi-hat. Uh, the, the basics of that, there's gonna be some other thing in here. I haven't thrown that in yet, but that sounds like a walk. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we got the 808 here and we've got this on the sound. So this is Sublab, uh, then we've got Neutron 3 following that. And I, what I'll actually do, I'll just delete that off and I'll show you from scratch how you get to this, this result might be beneficial so if you want to do your side chain to your 808 inside of machine this is machine 2 i don't know if it's the most up-to-date version i need to check that out um, but we'll get that done very shortly uh, but anyway it's machine 2 so it should work in the most up-to-date version so we get the plugin here you go to your isotope uh, isotope plugins and obviously this would work inside of neutron 2 if you're still using that which i am um, but if you're using Neutron 3, same deal. So let's bring up Neutron 3 and uh, work from there. It's going to ask me a few things about whether or not I want to buy it. And at the moment, I do not. Um, but we'll just go from there. So we'll go demo. And uh, we've got the EQ. So first off, we'll delete that because I just want to use a, a compressor inside of Neutron. The same thing applies for the EQ, which I'll show you in a second if you haven't already seen that. Check out my video. It'll be at the end of this about using the EQ as well. Um, but anyway, we'll go from there. So attack 2.1 because I want a really fast attack to get rid of the kick uh, as fast as I can. Let's go 6 to 1 like I did before in the other previous video. No makeup gain. Uh, 6 to 1 is just the ratio that I like to start with. And uh, what we're going to do here then is get this so it talks to the kick that's coming out of this drum kit. So there's actually a kick here labeled kick 31 out of my one of my favorite kick kits. Um, actually might release that as well. But we'll get to that in another video. Uh, so we're going to have that side chain into the bass. So basically what's happening here is the kick is pushing the bass out of the way when the kick activates. Then the bass ducks for that time period of 36 milliseconds, which is the release time. Bass comes back up and you keep going. So what we're doing here, we're setting this up. So we get this, so it says side chain here. But you notice here in machine, on the sound or on a group, you can actually sidechain. So I'm just going to do it directly on the sound. And you go all the way to the right and it says sidechain input. Now the sidechain source, we have to, we're going to have to select, you can either do the whole entire drum kit or individually the kick itself. I want to do the kick for now just because I know where the kick is. It's positioned B1 and it's the first sample on B1. So that's why it says B1 S1 because that's B1 sample 1. So you get that selected, uh, you have that obviously all here, this is showing just the frequency and all that sort of stuff. We don't need to affect that right now. Uh, but what we do here inside of uh, Neutron, I'll just get rid of Sublab, hit this little tab thing here. If you see that, you should come up with a little sidechain button. 
Again, we go to the external section here, so external full, and now we should see the kick come in when I hit play. It's as simple as that. It pretty much is the easiest thing to set up. It doesn't really take too much time. Obviously, it's just dependent on your attack release settings to how it sounds. Um, six to one is a good amount that I like to start with. If you would like to use that amount, you can, um, but otherwise just you know set that to the ratio that you want it to be at. You don't need makeup gain because you're not trying to make up the gain. You're just trying to reduce the volume of that sound uh, when it comes in and then leaves. And external full means that it's the external source being the kick uh, coming into the plugin and telling this to duck out of the way. So now, same thing applies with the EQ. You would just do the same thing. You would choose a band, and then it has this little arrow here, side chain, external. But you have to turn this dynamic section on here just to tell it to have a threshold. Go to external once you hit side chain, and then obviously from there, uh, you can tell this, to, sorry, you can go to band one or full signal, and then the same thing would happen here if we were using that as the effective plugin. So we'll hit play. And I'll just show you that. There, it's kicking out of the way when the kick kicks in. Now, these two options, it's totally up to you which one you want to choose. If you want to just isolate just some of the frequency and not remove all of it at the one time, EQ is the best way to go with that. If you're looking at removing all of the frequency, so for example, you want to remove the bass entirely out of the way just for that split second, or that split moment of seconds, uh, 41 milliseconds to be precise, then the compressor is the way to go with that. So I guess it's tasteful. Whatever you decide to do, it's up to you. Whatever works for your track, uh, you use that as your option from there. So hopefully this is helpful for you guys. Hopefully you'll get something out of this. If you enjoy this type of stuff, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and also make a comment down below of what else you want to see as far as Machine or Studio One or other tutorials on this channel because it helps me out to identify how I can help you guys out in the future. Love you guys and peace.